10,440 pounds, we've got ourselves a Sierra 325 RGT here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, rear galley triple slide, galley being a marine term that's made its way in and out of the RV business over the years. This is a freaking sweet floor plan. This is a really cool one. I've never seen anything exactly like this. And uh, it's funny because I got in it and it was new but familiar and it took me a little bit to put my finger on it. But it's a little bit like just a, a smaller working man's version of the ultra popular 388 RKS open range um, 3X, which is funny because this is the previous owner's fifth wheel and this is their new open range is heading out right now. So apparently they kind of had a, a similar feeling that I did. But um, all in all, extremely well kept. Um, there was a there spot in the back where uh, a, the refrigerator condensation drip hose somehow got tucked into the trailer. And that did cause a, a, a little bit of uh, water damage on the rear corner. But the insurance adjuster came out and said, hey, no problem, you're covered. And uh, they got that all taken care of. I'm gonna show you what that is. The cool point is they actually did the work. Enclosed, uh, you know, insulated underbelly, good extended season camper, um, all laminated too. So it's gonna keep your structural integrity up. Uh, in you know, at, at 10 440, she's not an ultralight, but it could be a heck of a lot worse. So this rear corner is what I'm talking about here. And as you can see, it's still there. It's not like it fell apart or anything. And you can see the area in question. This is the original skin little more yellow from the sun. This is the whiter, lighter skin that has been replaced, and here's the seam. So from here back, uh, basically the whole rear end was rebuilt on it. There is a little bit of bubbling on this rear wall because when they rebuilt the rear wall, they did not ventilate it so that the, the gases and air inside that laminated wall can expand and contract. So that is not a water damaged rear wall. It's called toad skinning. Um, it's something I've seen a few times on different brands, but uh, like I said, it's not from water, and, and I know that because you can pound it here. Why, why tell you? I can show you. You can walk up to this thing, and you can just jackhammer the real wall. It's still there. It's still solid. It just, the, the skin bubbled, you know, kind of like if a, a decal or sticker bubbled. That's all we're looking at here. So this is also uh, something I've never really seen. Well, I, I guess not never, but ultra rare is dual living room entry doors in a fifth wheel. That's, that's uncommon in any RV, let alone uh, a fifth wheel. I've seen it in very select travel trailers, but even then it's hyper uncommon. I locked myself out. <laughs> I'm just that smart. Thankfully, we've got an alternative over here. So stepping inside, you'll see immediately, it is just, just all but pristine inside, extremely well kept in here. The carpet is vacuumed. The woodwork is fantastic. Um, I did notice the bottom drawer over here looks like maybe it just fell off the runner and got overloaded a little bit, but that's like the only thing I can say to take away from this camper. It's in amazingly good condition. I love the big slide over here and I, the, the uh, extra large recliner. This is a very Forest River thing. I, I don't know what, it, that just screams Forest River to me but it's very cool. Um, and I also like the, uh, I'm a sucker for bar stools, so that catches me. These are uh, like six foot, six inch tall walk-in slide outs. Um, you know, we've got our residential ceiling light fan here to push some air around the RV on those moderately warm days when you don't want to roar the AC, that's nice. Um, this does have UV tinted exterior windows, which was not common when this was built, but it also has dual section day night shades. I only found one shade where it looks like maybe it needs restrung or anything like that. Um, all the windows open for ventilation, great cross breeze in here. Um, and what I like about this is how social this is. You walk inside and you feel like you're just, you're walking into a club, like it's a, just a buddy's hangout pad, you know? This just has a really comfortable, like you walk in and you're talking. You sit down here and you know, we got the bar where we're serving drinks and nachos and we're chatting. We got tables over here, you know, you're sitting directly across from the entertainment center. You know, when you're on this high to bed where I'm at, you're just, you're a boardwalk and park place and you can stretch out and kick out your feet and not trip anybody. And you can, you know, have a social environment in, in a nice private space or just shut the doors like, you know, lock yourself out like I did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, don't have to worry about anybody. So great rear kitchen, excellent amount of counter space and pretty good cabinet space overall too because we got good drawers below. As we wrap around the side, you'll see that the, uh, the sink area here, they have wide open for easy access. Um, the uh, upper shelves here, or pardon me, upper cabinets have shelves for extra storage capacity. 
uh, larger eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, which is not mind blowing by today's standards, but that was not common when this was built. And these wire mesh uh, custom pantries, I am a sucker for these things, I love them. You barely see them used anymore, maybe in like truck campers, uh, there's just very few people that use them anymore. Um, you know, there's one or two brands I, I've seen that use them at all. And even just this to me, I looked down here and said that's the perfect spot for a waste basket, that big open compartment right there. So our freestanding table is surrounded by big windows so you can get lots of light in here. And uh, let me flip around, take a good look at the entertainment center. We just glanced at it before. Tons of storage in that entertainment center. And I love how it's all contained in the slide out. You have dual opposing slides to make this thing just feel really, really wide open. And they didn't put any fixtures in the middle of the floor because the kitchen's in the back. That makes this a uh, just a wide open floor space. They didn't have to shove an island in here or anything like that, as is really the trend today. Moving forward, this has a classic split bath, which has advantages. It keeps the RV shorter and lighter, and it actually gives you a big open space here where you can get dressed when you get out of the shower. Now, just like in the living room, how they kept just, they extended all the slides a little bit further than industry standard. They extended this slide to also encompass an additional extra closet space over here. So this has an entire additional closet that it just wouldn't have otherwise. And I really like how they made the front end symmetrical here where you've got the, uh, um, side stands and are the uh, side storage and whatnot with middle hanging storage and there is washer dryer hookups right there if you're a full timer and you like to do that if you're by the way if you're ever not sure about those washer and dryers don't do them they because not only are they expensive but they also don't work very well especially those combomatics so not only is it stupid but it's also dumb <laughs> That's my opinion, and maybe this is one of those things where, like, when you see in a movie that, you know, the opinions of Josh Winters may not necessarily reflect Halet RV, but it's going to be pretty darn close. True Queen, by the way, and just more awesome storage everywhere. This is the one shade I noticed. This side's fine, but the string popped on this end. It just needs to get restrung over here. That's not the end of the world. Um... Spinning around, there's that big closet, big shower. A tall guy like me can actually fit in the shower this thing, which is nice. Uh, we have an adult size sink. An adult can actually put their hands in with a double size medicine cabinet to keep your counter space open and uncluttered because that's not what you're looking for. And like I said, very classic split bath where you've got the closet style bathroom, but they did put in the bigger max air fan up here so that you, uh, you have excellent airflow going on. Look at that, even a nice actual raised panel door. Very sharp. This is a very sharp RV. I'm, I'm really proud to be able to offer this one to you. It's been really well kept. It's in great shape. And camera's a little fuzzy. What's going on here? Doesn't matter. We're wrapping up anyway. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.